Hi, this is Jacob with Sarshone Ford and Randolph. Just wanted to do this quick video walk around for you on this 2019 F750 with the 330 horse diesel. Uh, this truck does have the air brake package on it. It is a 33,000 uh, gross vehicle weight rated truck. So this one would require CDL. Um, this truck was a truck that Ford actually used on their lot uh, so when titled you know we had to title it to us uh, from from Ford there so this this truck is a super cab again 330 horse diesel does have the uh, exhaust stack out the top there it is an 84 cab to axle um, there was a bed mounted on this I do want to go over this here with you so there was a flat bed mounted on this truck I actually have one here with the flatbed mounted to it and the truck was used they said like I said at the Ford Michigan plants to salt their lots um, so when they took the bed off as you can see here right at the back they had this welded on to the back of that frame you can see there and they just like cut that cut that piece off so when they cut that off pardon my finger they took about six inches off the end of that frame. Okay, so again, 84 CA. Uh, I have talked to a few body upfit companies. We can still put, you know, a 10 foot dump body on this, um, but I, I'm not sure if that's going to affect whatever you plan to do with it. But at least wanted to point it out. Um, so, it does have the Alcoas on it? Uh, aluminum diesel tank there. We're gonna go up inside here. It does have your power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. Okay. It does have your dimmer switch, light switch, and then an air horn. The air horn works well. Um, out here it does have the cloth seating in it. They are not air seats; they are fixed um, on the steering wheel here. It does have your info set up, has your cruise control as well, and then on this side does have your audio controls and Bluetooth controls for the radio. Yeah. Has the upfitter switches. Again, that's your parking brake for the air brakes. As you can see, it has air brakes, but does not have the trailer package. If you would like the trailer package, uh, we can install that package for you there as well. It does have the electronic uh, brake controller there if you notice here there's a hole I do need to put a plug in that um, but there was a mount there for their salting controls again I do have a flatbed here that has the uh, current setup that this one had on it uh, if you'd be interested in that I can send that video to you as well um, but rear seat again rubber floor cloth seating on this side I'm gonna run to the other side here to show you that all right, we've got the passenger side here. You get your power windows, power locks. It does have a, a few scuffs there on the dash. Those are actually in the plastic, so it is scuffed up on the dash there. Um, cloth seating, again, this side does open. Cloth seat there as well. The power windows and power locks, that stuff's for the front. There's no power in the back, so. All right, I'm gonna pop the hood here for you. All right, hood's open. Your airline. Go to the other side here. Again, this is the 330 horse uh, diesel. I'm gonna close the hood and then I'm gonna show you a couple things on the truck here. All right, so up front, you can see they got a couple holes that they drilled in the bumper, okay? Now this may come off. Um, it looks like whatever was on it. They actually had, again, the other ones here, they had big orange things that stuck up that they put on the side so they knew the corners of their truck so they didn't bash into things uh, while they were doing you know, exterior work. And then on the top here too, 
you can kind of see. I don't know. I maybe mean, might be able to have my guys clean some of that up. Um, so both, both of those on both sides of the bumper there, and then up here on this hood, it looks like there's a scuff there. Other than that, um, as I mentioned, the back here, um, you know, I, I showed you the frame. It does have, you know, being it's a 2019, it does have some scale, if you would. Um, at, at some of the connection points here in the back, uh, you can see their plate that they had mounted, their hitch plate, that's a little corroded, but that's the worst part, and that's, you know, that's not even factory, so, um, yeah. But again, your outfitter, whoever's putting the body on, they'll probably oil coat, undercoat, or paint this anyway for you, so. All right, so this is a 2019 F750 330 horse diesel, 33,000 GVW. Um, truck only has 5,000 miles on it, so if you're interested, give me a call at 330-705-8641. I do have other trucks here as well, as I mentioned through the video, that have the flatbed on with the salting controls, and then I do have one here with a uh, stainless uh, dump on it as well. So, 330-705-8641, 330-705-8641, thank you.